This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and in this After Effects tutorial, we will create a liquidy style kinetic typography animation inside of After Effects that too without using any plugins. It's a super cool effect. You can use this technique in various different ways to create your own unique looking animation. So make sure you watch the complete video so you don't miss out on anything. With that said, let's jump into After Effects and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. It's going to be full HD, that is 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS. And let's make this composition 10 seconds long. And I'm going to call this render as our main render comp. Hit OK. Let's create one more comp. This is going to be our text composition. So I'm going to call this text. And for the height, I'll set this to 150. All right, hit OK. Then let's select the text tool. And for the font, I'm using Monumental Extended. It's a free font. I have mentioned the link in the description below. Let's click and let's type in the text that we want. All right, so we only have strokes enabled. So I'm going to switch and I'll align this into the center. Let's hit Control D to duplicate it. Let's put a copy below. And now I'm going to switch to strokes only i have set the stroke at two pixels and i think it's looking pretty cool i can also uh, turn on the title action safe and let's align both the text properly into the center like so so it's looking pretty nice let's create one more new composition and let's set the height to 1080 that is 1920 by 1080 i'm going to call this um, motion tile all right hit ok Let's drag and drop in the text composition. And by the way, I think you have guessed it right. We will be applying motion tile effect onto this composition. So I'm going to go and let's drag and drop it onto our text composition. Let's increase the output height like so that it covers the complete frame. So I'll set this to around 750 looks good. You can also click on mirrored edges if you want to go with that look, but I prefer this one. So it's looking pretty nice. Now let's um, create one more, one more new composition. I'm going to call this animation. All right, hit OK. And let's create one more new composition, which is going to be our alpha map, which is going to act as a map for our that liquid ripple effect. So I'm going to call this a wave map. All right, I'm going to hit OK. Let's hit Control Y to create a new solid. Call this BG for background. I'm going to make sure the color is black. Hit OK. Then let's um, create a new solid by hitting Control Y. Let's call this waves. And then go into effects and preset and search for a very cool effect called radio waves. Let's double click to apply. And now you can see we get this really cool looking waves. I can change the color to white so you can see it more properly. Now let's play around with a few properties like the frequency. I'm going to bring that down because I want a bit more um, distance or, you know, lesser waves. Because if I increase this, you can see we get something like that. So I'll set this to 0.75. That looks good. Let's increase the expansion by around 6. Let's go right here and bring down the fade out time to zero. And I'm going to increase the start and end width all the way up to 100%, just like so. So we get this really nice look that I'm going for. Then I'm going to right click, go ahead and create a new adjustment layer called this blur because at the moment it's very sharp. So in order to fix this, I'm going to add a fast blur on this. So let's go into effects and presets, search for fast blur. So fast box blur. Let's increase the blur radius around 60 should be fine. Turn on the repeat edge pixels and bring down the iteration to um, two. two should be fine. Yeah, that looks better. 
so we have this really nice map that we will be using as a map for our liquid effect so now let's go back into our animation composition let's drag and drop in the wave map let's hide this i'm going to drag and drop in the motion tile all right and then let's right click create a new adjustment layer called this caustics and then go into effects and preset and search for the same effect that is caustics so it comes under stimulation i'm going to drag and drop it on the caustics and now let's change the water surface from none to wave map and now if i just go ahead you can see we get a very cool look first of all let's change the surface color to white and there are a number of different properties that you can play around with like i can increase the wave height to get a super intense effect i can bring that down to get a subtle effect so i'll keep it at around 0.5 and i'm going to increase the smoothing basically so if i increase this really high like 50 is the limit i think it looks pretty cool let's um, bring down the water depth we don't want any kind of water depth because that, that's going to mess up our text and it will become difficult to read let's bring down the refractive index let's bring down the refractive index to 1.1 that works good with this look and finally i will bring down the surface opacity you can keep it really high if you want but i like to keep it at around 0.1 and let's increase the caustic strength so if i increase this you can see we get a really nice depth you know we get some separation between the highlights and shadows which is which is what i'm going for so i'm gonna set this to one now before i proceed further with this tutorial let me take a minute and talk about today's sponsor envato elements design better projects faster with envato elements Get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready-to-use templates for your next project. Create more with premium design assets, video templates, mockups, fonts, presentations, photos, audio files, and more. All this comes with commercial licenses for extra peace of mind. Envato Elements will help you save a lot of time, effort, money. Get unlimited downloads with Envato Elements and start creating today. Pretty awesome. Now at the moment it looks flat. So let's give some depth to the complete animation. So what I'm going to do is let's go back into our render comp, drag and drop in the animation composition. All right. And here we have the animation. Let's uh, make this layer 3D. Let's create a new camera and um, i'm gonna keep it at 50 millimeters hit okay let's create a new null object i'm gonna hold control and double click on the pan behind tool which is going to move the anchor point into the center let's align the null object into the center make it 3d and then parent this camera to this null object i'm gonna rename this null to cam control all right and let's hit r to bring down the rotation properties Let's rotate the X rotation a little bit like so. Somewhere around there. Let's rotate this one. Let's rotate the Y rotation as well. So let's keep it at around um, somewhere around there. And let's rotate this as well. All right. And then I'm going to press C on the keyboard. That is going to bring up the camera tool let's click it one more time and one more time so it's gonna zoom in like so and let's place it into the position that we want so basically i'm gonna zoom in a little bit more and um, let's place it like this all right so now if we preview this we get this really cool look much better but we are not done yet i'm gonna set this to full let's hide the null and if i go into the ca camera properties I'm going to go into camera options and turn on the depth of field. Let's increase the uh, aperture and we get something like this. So let's adjust the focus distance so around 1000. Let's start from 1000. Let's see. And then we can move this forward and place it into the center like so. Now I can obviously play around with the aperture. I can set this around 250 and increase the blur to 150. 
and i think 150 is a bit too much so let's keep it at 120 so we get this really nice depth and uh, boom now it's going to be a bit heavy on the system because we have enabled the depth of field but you get the idea we get a really cool um ripple effect or ripple typography animation inside of after effects now there are a number of things that you can do first things i can go back into our animation go into the caustics and um let's um scale this down i can i can set the scaling of caustics to 0.8 um you know just so that a text is more a text is more readable and yeah i think it's looking pretty cool so let's go ahead and preview this on full res so i think it's looking pretty damn cool now you can do a number of different things here like for example you can also add a camera movement so if i go right here let's say i'll go into the cam control hit r and um, we can add a little bit of rotation right here so i'll go to around 10 seconds and let's rotate it like so just a little bit so when it animates we have a little bit of rotation going on which adds a very nice complete feel to the animation and obviously you can use different colors give a different look it's up to you to how you want to use this effect and come up with something cool so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions i have mentioned the link in the description below with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out